everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a bit of an art challenge now I have these q-tips here which have been in my bathroom cupboard for the better part of about three or four years and every time I look in this cupboard I see these and I'm like I should do an art challenge with that well today I am finally doing it now before I actually get into the art I want to try and uh, make a few sort of implements with these q-tips because uh, painting on with just one q-tip at a time would probably get very time consuming so I wanted to you know tape a few together and see if I could make like you know a, a bigger sort of implement to do so I actually started off and I taped four q-tips together and this was sort of like a medium kind of brush and uh, I actually went back and I made one with about six or seven q-tips and I taped them together to make a sort of larger one now after that I decided I wanted to try and make a really big wide one and this is mainly for things like backgrounds and just spreading a large amount of paint so I actually this one was more difficult to make I actually laid out a whole bunch of q-tips uh, in a line and then I taped one across and then I taped the other side as well and I sort of made this like weird raft looking thing which actually ended up working pretty good. Now, I wanted to test these out to see what sort of uh, marks and uh, textures I could make because I didn't want to just dive straight into uh, the painting without knowing what I was working with and I felt like this would prepare me better for the challenge ahead. Now, for this challenge, I actually am using my Josonja's Matte Flow Acrylic Paints. These are my favorite paints to use because they are really nice and uh, vibrant and yeah they just have a really nice sort of texture when they dry. Now to test it out I'm actually working on a bit of canvas paper here but this is not what I'm actually going to be painting on in the final piece. I actually have a piece of cardboard which I put a bit of gesso on. So yeah here is the final results of the test and now let's just get into that epic montage. can see I started off with that sort of large uh, weird wide uh, q-tip contraption and I put some paint on this canvas and uh, yeah I just sort of smeared it around and at first it did make some like weird sort of streaky liney textures to it but I sort of just uh, laid the paint over and then used that sort of weird thing uh, to sort of swirl it around now I used my new color which is storm blue uh, for the background and I basically just went in with that and then I added a little bit of white mixing the paint into the color and yeah I ended up getting a nice sort of swirly uh, background. Now for the uh, subject of this painting I wanted to paint a tree like a cherry blossom tree because I really love the look of those and I think they're really pretty and I want to see if I could get a cool texture with the q-tips now of course I am using a lot of singular q-tips as well to paint with and this is just to add stray uh, sort of petals here and there as well as doing the more finer details now speaking of finer details a few of my q-tips sort of started to fall apart and the the cotton was like sort of coming off in strands 
but I actually used that to my advantage and uh, I actually got those sort of weird strands that were hanging off the q-tip and I sort of dipped and rolled those in the paint and I was able to get a uh, sort of finer tech uh, sort of details with them now it was very very hard for me to control uh, very very different to a paintbrush but I sort of just went really slow and I tried my best to get some good details <laughs> Now a few times I did sort of let the paint dry and then went back over it to uh, build up some layers and get some different sort of textures because I had the sort of wet in wet look and I really wanted to get some details that were nice and almost crisp looking and uh, yeah I actually after all of that was dry I went in with some black mixed with a little bit of brown and I used that for uh, the tree trunk in the background. After that I went in and I used some greys and whites and I drew a little cat because I actually planned to draw a little cat in the foreground of this painting uh, to begin with and I thought it would just be so cute to have him just sort of smiling there happily and yeah I'm pretty happy with how the cat turned out and I think he looks pretty cute so here is the final results for this illustration and I love it so much um, it's kind of got that weird painterly look to it where if you look it up close you can see all the paint sort of strokes but if you step back from it it looks really cool and um, another thing I did which made it look a bit cooler at the end was I used some of my glittery washi tape to sort of add a little bit of a border around the outside and I think that sort of adds a nice little touch to it and just makes it look a little bit more polished and complete so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you think below and uh, yeah, have a lovely day. I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.